So as you guys can see, I've opened those two photos on two separate layers. And this is the first background layer, and this, this is the layer above with the B. Select the layer with the B and let's rename it to B. Hit enter. Let's change the B layer blending mode to overlay. And hit control plus J to duplicate the B layer and change it back to normal. Now go to layer, layer mask, and choose hide all. Now double click on the background layer to convert it to a normal layer. And here in the new layer, let's rename it to girl on a chair. And hit enter. And then just click and drag the girl on a chair layer to something like this so that it starts to look like she's sitting on the flower. And let's grab now the crop tool and just crop it around the area with the flower to something like this so that it's only where the two photos intersect with each other and now let's select the top b copy layer select the layer mask this is the black thing on the right the black rectangle with the layer mask so select it and then go ahead and select the brush tool then hit x on your pick on the keyboard the keyboard hit x and make sure that you're using white color for it you can right click and change the size there's lots of different ways you can do this and uh you can also change the hardness let's keep it at zero percent let's click and drag around the b to make it appear, just paint around it and I'm also using the out key on the keyboard while clicking and dragging with the right mouse button to, to change the brush size so let's bring back the B simply by painting around it and I think it already starts to look good if you wanna get back and you can hit X and choose black and when you paint with black you're hiding parts of the layer below if you hit X again, you're back to painting with white and you reveal parts of the layer, uh, which is below the layer mask, which is the B copy layer we're working on. So what you're doing, you're revealing the layer that we, that the layer mask hid. And you're only revealing the parts you need. So now we have the B back. And let's set the brush size to something around 347. You can reduce the brush opacity here for a more subtle effect to something around 50. And let's paint with black and paint around the area with the legs let's increase the hardness a bit but uh, i think we actually need to paint with white yeah 
to paint with white to make it look more like her legs are actually stepping into the flower hit x again and maybe reduce the opacity even more and just click to blend it even more now let's hit control and hold the control key on the keyboard then click on the b layer below to select both the layers with the b then hit control plus g or go to layer new new groups from group from layer is here this is the other way to do it then go to layer layer mask review all and now when you paint with black on this layer mask you make the girl from the layer below appear more vividly let's set the opacity back to 100 so let's set the fairness back to zero for a more subtle effect and you can see how we're bringing the girl back now to our amazing photoshop manipulation and just click and drag carefully around her legs and body and chair and everything to bring them back again you can hit x to switch between black and white whenever you need to and i think we're i don't know maybe a bit more here with this leg make some of this area around here show more and let's reduce the opacity to hide it a bit using white to blend it a bit better and maybe a bit around the head to blend it better with white and let you can also add the levels adjustment layer at the top to add some more contrast drag the black slider to the right drag the whites a bit to the left i don't know about the grays let's keep them approximately in the middle so i think that something like this should look good and you can also create a new layer at the top and go to image apply image and hit ok then go to filter other and choose high pass and to what this is gonna do we're gonna add some more extra details to our composition let's set the radius to i don't know maybe somewhere around three here okay and change the planning mode to either hard light or overlay let's choose hard light and you can set the opacity to something around 80 86 or so and there's one more thing that you can do let's hide this top layer click here to hide it and select the let's expand the group and <clears throat> select the layer mask select the brush tool and just let's increase the opacity increase the hardness to 30 something and let's just click and drag the flower so that it looks like they're actually standing on the flower let's reduce the hardness back to zero 
let's reduce the opacity back to around 15 percent let's click and drag around the areas behind the legs and the chair to bring them back like this and i think by now things should be looking quite amazing increase the opacity back to around 80 percent let's bring those parts of the flower back harness zero and let's decrease the opacity make the brush bigger so bring some of this flower back and you want to remove some of what you don't need hex x x paint with black you again hide the parts you don't need maybe the flower could be a bit transparent on the sides not a flower expert guys but i think still this effect looks quite nice let's bring back some of the legs here some of the stool legs as well by painting with black and I think something like this looks quite all right. Let's bring back the top layer. And let's reduce the opacity of the top layer furthermore to around, I don't know, 50%. This is before the top layer appears. This is after, or we can delete it. And let's create it again image apply image and filter and now notice that high pass is at the top it remembers your last settings so you can click it here or go to filter a high pass to adjust it if you want to and change the blending mode to hard light again and set it to around 80 percent again so this is it guys thank you for watching i hope you learned something from this tutorial and subscribe to damian photoshop channel